These are some of the craziest boot hacks on the internet. I had my editor send me a long list of boot hacks. They're terrible, they're crazy, they're awesome, no matter what. Send me a long list of boot hacks and I'm gonna go through them, I'm gonna react to some of them and I'm even gonna try some of the ones that seem too crazy to work and I'm gonna give them a shot. Right. Right. So here's how you can stretch out. Pain, painless overnight. If you wanna take some water, I can hold the bag for you. Yeah, hold the bag. Yeah. Going to fill okay, we got a plastic bag. Water. We're filling a plastic bag with, I think I know where this is going. I've seen this one all over the internet. Okay, I see what they're doing. Okay, you can already see where this is problematic. She is just dripping water all over her leather shoes. Alright, so I know where, where they're going with this. This is all over the internet. They're going to take this, they're going to take it to the freezer. They're going to make sure that's in there. So as the water expands, because it freezes, it should expand the boot and stretch out the leather a little bit. So I'm going to check that one out and we'll see if that works. All right, now we got the air out. I'm gonna put this inside the boot. I'm just gonna tap that in there, and then uh, that water bag is way down in there. Gotta remember to wrap this in a plastic bag so you're not putting the boot inside the freezer. It'll also help protect the uh, leather there. All right. There it goes. All right, I'm grabbing these blunt stones out of the. All right, so I got my blunt stones here. Just grabbed them out of the freezer. They are looking a little frostbitten. Look at that. All right, I'm looking at this. I'm trying to get that bag out, but it's not working because the entire inside of the boot is completely frozen. So the bag exploded at some point and uh, there's just like an ice block inside of my shoe now. <laughs> so I can't even tell if the leather stretched out or not because there is just a gigantic ice block in my shoe. This part is frozen so these boots obviously leak. This was a bad, bad boot hack. Do not put water in your shoe and then freeze it. Do not do that. All right, here's the next one. This is a, a TikTok here. Gonna put them in there. Take your cowboy boot upside down and hold it open so okay. that the boot gets lots of steam inside of it. And I know this part seems ridiculous, but you're going to slide a plastic now bag talking. onto your foot. That's gonna help it get over this really um, tough spot on top of your boot there that's not broken in yet. Once your boot is nice and warm, about three to five minutes. Oh, you can see minutes, steam coming out of that thing. Put your foot with the bag in it and slip your boot. All right, so this one kind of makes a little bit of sense. I guess the idea is that you're you're steaming the boot, you're getting the leather a little bit moist, you're getting the leather uh, definitely warmed and uh, more supple, so that for the first time you try them on, uh, it's a lot easier to break them in. I don't know about putting the bag on there, but I'm gonna give this one a shot and I'm gonna let you know what what I think about it. All right, so I got my cowboy boot right here, and I am going to go ahead and steam this bad boy. All right, so I got my boot here. It's steaming nice and warm. That's great. Now I'm gonna put this on my foot and I'm gonna put my foot in there, I guess. That's what I do. Well, I gotta say, my foot went in there nicely. My overall opinion on the cowboy boot steaming boot hack, a little bit too much work. You could honestly just wear your boots. Most cowboy boots are not that hard to break in. They're like filled with padding. They're like super easy to break in normally. So if you are experiencing pain breaking in your cowboy boots, you don't need to steam them and put it in a little trash bag right there. You just need to wear them. And if they hurt, then you got the wrong size. So you need to exchange them for a different size. In terms of effectiveness, you run the risk of just getting your boots super moldy right away. But so I would just wear them. Just wear them a lot. That's how you break in boots. All right, next one up. I don't know. I don't even know what that says, but. What is oh. Okay. <laughs> I, it seems to be putting a um, a female sanitary product into the heel of her boots, probably. I'm guessing. Those are Doc Martens, by the way, which are uh, famously uncomfortable. Kind of thing that drives a person to put feminine care products into their boots. Oh yeah, okay, so there we go. I uh, don't understand exactly what she's saying, but as you can see, boom, right there. She has put that on the heel. So there is a product that you can buy. It's called a, uh, a little heel pad. You can buy it off Amazon. It's 
incredibly cheap. They're like $1.50. And it's a little felt pad that you can put right into the heel. It's adhesive already, so it does this. I, I guess this would work in a pinch. I uh, don't happen to have any of those on me right now. But um, yeah, if your heels are hurting, I suppose this would work. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to give this one a try, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I would just use the heel pad, which you can get for about $2, and I would do that instead. All right, here's the next one. This is for how to massage your, massage your feet. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh no. Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. All right, this does not look well thought out at all. Can you imagine how uncomfortable that is? You take something that is meant to be comfortable and then you just turn it into the least comfortable. Th oh, look at that. That looks terrible. And the music they're playing, like it's happy thing. Mm. I went to a German torture museum like many years ago when I was like traveling to Germany. You know those torture museums they got where they show you like the Iron Maidens and like all the crazy stuff? That looks like something that would be in there. So yeah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> that's, a bad, that's a bad hack. All right, here's another one. This one isn't a video. This one's just like a, from an article I saw, but it's a, using a shoe tree to vanish creases from shoes. That seems like that was written in English. So you get your cedar shoe trees, boom, you pop them in, and then you take an iron and you put it over a wet towel and you iron out the crease in your boots. This is pretty interesting. I don't know how long, I don't know if this would work very well. Um, if that would actually remove the creases or if it would just reshape the shoe in a way that's worse. I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm gonna give this one a try. I got all those things. I'm gonna give it a shot right now. All right, this one is pretty straightforward. So I got myself a Chelsea boot here that's got a lot of wrinklage right there. I got a, a cedar shoe tree. I got a damp rag and I got myself here a hot iron. I'm gonna pop this cedar shoe tree in the boot. And now let's iron this bad boy. All right, so looking at these, this actually kind of worked. As you can see, the uh, wrinkles are not as apparent. They're still there a little bit, but they're less apparent. But one thing it did do was it definitely dulled the finish significantly. So I'll have to repolish these for sure. All right, this next one looks to be like a how to lace up boots. Let's see how this is. This seems pretty standard. This seems pretty usual. Oh, that's the wrong way. What's this guy gonna do? Oh, nice. Look at that. Wow. I've never seen that before. Is that how speed laces are supposed to work? That was pretty cool. I'm gonna give that one a shot. Let's see how that goes. All right. So, this is the wrong way. All right, all right. Oh. All right, that speed lacing technique that requires serious skill some practice. I'm not going to be able to pull it off just in this short amount of time, but I, <laughs> I gave it a couple stupid shots and uh, I'm probably just going to stick to the normal way. Here we go. We got Fort Worth, Texas boot hacks. You stick your boot in there. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. So instead of using a boot jack, you can use your car door and just take your boot off like that. Sometimes cowboy boots can be difficult to, I'm gonna go test that out right now. Cowboy boots can be tough to get off. I'm gonna give that one a shot and see what that's like. Right, let's see if this actually works here. Oh, snap. Better question is, can you put your foot back into it? No, no you can't. All right, here's another boot hack out of Texas. Let's see what this guy's got. Never heard of that. That doesn't seem like that'd be good. Could be for the potassium. I'm pretty curious how this is going to turn. I'm, I've Do never heard of this. Well, okay. I've seen a lot of stuff. I haven't seen anything like this. Now you get a rag, put it over the boot. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so I'm going to see, see, see how they look now. See that? <laughs> Dude, I, okay. This has got to be a joke. There's. Those aren't even the same boots. I don't recommend that one, unless you're feeling very bold. All right, here's another hack. Today, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I use to make my shoes oh. even better. <laughs> oh. I'm taking some white petroleum jelly and That's I'm hilarious. the jelly Oh, the guy just ruined his shoes forever. Shoes. I mean, you could, how, how much does this darken it? Look at this, oh, he like, yeah, look at that. That's like a, he's all done with it. They don't look anything like they used to, they got, jelly all over them, <laughs> like oily jelly all over them. 
So yeah, this is not something I recommend. If you want to waterproof your boots, use something like Hubert Shoe Grease, Mink Oil, or uh, Obanoffs, or something like that. That will do it with beeswax, not with petroleum jelly. If you get a fresh, clean All white right. pair of kicks, Here's which I have one. like 12 of them, I've come to realize that for them to look crispy, is this teaching men's fashion? Prepared. Having alcohol is. wipes with me at all times, if let's say on a first date or I had somewhere in point to be that okay. I wanted them to look yeah. good, I just pull one of those wipes out and nothing wrong with that. Nice little uh looks like he uses a sanitary wipe or like a alcohol wipe or something like that. I think the key here is that he's using this just on the plastic or rubber part of the of the shoe. I don't think he uses that on the canvas at all. I wouldn't use any alcohol or sanitary wipe on leather, but for the outsoles I I have used uh, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and I have used uh, antibacterial wipes before on just like the outsole part on the side of it if you want to clean that up. And that actually does work really well. I'll show you an example of what that looks like right here. All right, here I got my antibacterial wipe. Here I've got a pair of dirty soles here and I'm mainly thing, see that spot right there? That is my goal. I'm gonna get that out right now with this wipe, hopefully showing that this boot hack works. All right, there you go. It is not perfect, but that definitely cleaned up this part of the outsole a good amount. I would say it's not it's not the best thing in the world, but it's definitely better than nothing. So if you want to clean the outsoles of your boots, again, I would not use this on any part of the leather, anything like that. Probably the best thing for rubber outsoles is a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It does a surprising amount to clean up the outsoles of your boots, especially if you have something that's like crepe rubber like this. The antibacterial wipe did it a little bit, but it wasn't great so i would use that magic eraser you just saw some pretty crazy things but you want to make sure you avoid these mistakes right here i'll see you in the next video and until then put your best boot forward